I learned a few things this week and I thought I would share them with you because, you know, knowledge is power and I am a big fan of sharing information with people that are interested in learning and uh, hearing about new stuff. I am Lisa Jones, broker and owner of Vantage Point Realty. I'm not here to tell you that the market's on fire and homes are selling like hotcakes. You already know that. I am here to share with you the information I learned about folks moving to Florida or within Florida. Florida Realtors does a lot of research for us, and the economists at Florida Realtors did some research of the folks that are moving in Florida. They looked at each county within the state and um, figured out who is moving from where. And in Lake and Polk counties, two-thirds of the people moving are moving within the state. In fact, half of those folks that are moving within the state are moving within the county, And the other half are bouncing from another county to Lake or Polk County. In Orange, Seminole, and Osceola, it's three quarters. So three quarters of the people that moved to those counties moved within the state. Half of those folks, again, moved within the county. So although we've got a lot of people moving to the state of Florida, around here, most of the folks are making local moves. In fact, I learned this past week, another fact. And that is for every one person that moves out of the state of Florida, seven people move in. And fortunately, for a lot of you folks who think that state should be closed to any new people, most of those folks are not moving here to Central Florida in Orange Lake, Polk, Osceola, or Seminole counties. Something else that I learned this past week is uh, actually, um, you know, a little bit of talk in the real estate world. Some agents on the West Coast and in Colorado have noticed that um, price reductions are getting more frequent and days to contract are increasing as well. And what that means is it's taking longer for homes to go under contract once they're listed on the open market. That is an indicator that the market is beginning to cool. And this makes perfect sense because you like that? That's Poe. This makes perfect sense because those markets were some of the first to heat up. So, of course, the the markets that were the first to heat up are going to be the first to cool down. Does this mean that the market is coming to a halting, screeching stop? No, it's going to take some time before... um, before the slowdown, it hits us here in central Florida, uh, but it is coming. It's not going to be anything like we saw during the Great Recession for a number of reasons, but the slowdown is coming. We will see a return to normalcy and uh, a, a, a more uh, stable or balanced, it's a good word, a more balanced market is coming. So... Sellers, if you're in the market to sell, getting your house ready, get it up on the market so you can capitalize on this. And buyers, there is relief coming. It's going to be a few months down the line before we start seeing uh, that, I believe, but uh, it's coming. So that's all I've got for you today. I'm Lisa Jones, broker and owner of Vantage Point Realty. I appreciate you tuning in. I appreciate your time. And I thank you so much. If there's anything I can help you with real estate related, feel free to reach out. I am more than happy to help. Have a wonderful day. Bye.